Hey everyone, I built a rocket engine, a hybrid rocket engine out of a piece of solid acrylic and I'm using gaseous oxygen as my oxidizer. And it's mounted in the vise right over here. So let's uh, zoom in and take a closer look. A hybrid rocket engine is an engine that uses uh, solid fuel as well as something else. And so the hybrid aspect of it is that you don't need pure liquid fuels uh, or pure solid fuels. You're actually using one solid fuel and then something else. So in this case, the solid fuel is acrylic, PMMA, polymethyl methacrylate, and the oxidizer is just oxygen gas. I built this engine by starting with a two inch diameter piece of acrylic rod, and I faced the ends off in the lathe and then uh, drilled a hole all the way through. Of course, the bit wasn't long enough to go all the way through. I was using a six inch section of rod, and uh, so I had to turn it around in the lathe and drill in from the other side. Uh, with a good center drill, it's the holes will meet up just fine, and, and mine wasn't a problem. I made two aluminum end plates, uh, drew them up in CAD first, and then used the CNC mill to cut them out. And I cut a, an O-ring gland, uh, a, a, a section for the tube to fit into, and then on the nozzle side, I uh, counterbored a hole and then turned a nozzle out of steel. So the the nozzle itself is going to have to withstand much higher temperature than the end plate, but really this, this engine is only meant to run for, you know, 10 seconds at most, and so really this construction isn't going to last long enough to, uh, to make a reusable rocket, let's just say. This is definitely going to be for demo only. The O-rings are high temperature silicone, and I was mostly just concerned with them not catching fire, but um, again, it probably doesn't matter for the amount of time that this engine is going to run. I used some quarter twenty threaded rod to uh, push the two plates together to make sure that the oxygen doesn't leak out of the engine. This will keep pressure on the O-rings. And um, put the whole engine together and then attached a valve on the back. And I wanted sort of a quick control valve, so I opted for a ball valve so that I could quickly open and shut it uh, without you know, screwing down a, a globe valve many turns. To light the engine, I just lit a, um, a cotton swab that I soaked in alcohol with a torch. And then with a very, very small amount of oxygen flowing, I put the lit swab in the tail end of the engine. And with all that oxygen flowing through there, I mean, at slow rates, uh, it's very, very easy to ignite the acrylic. And once a tiny section of it catches, the whole engine takes off and, and uh, lights up quite easily. I set the oxygen regulator to about 80 PSI, but I don't think I ever got the valve all the way open. It was just a little too scary to run this motor inside with full full 80 PSI oxygen going into it. The nozzle itself is, uh, has about a, a quarter inch diameter throat and it uh, expands out to almost 5 eighths of an inch. I didn't really do any calculations to figure out what the nozzle shape should be for the motor um, size and, and the flow going through it. I, I just kind of eyeballed it. Hybrid rocket engines are actually pretty interesting because you can throttle them very easily. As you can see in the video, when I turn the valve up and down, I can get varying levels of thrust almost instantly. I mean, the, the, it's very easy to throttle the motor up and down. Another benefit is that you can turn it off. So with a solid fuel engine, once you light it, there's really no going back because the oxidizer is, is mixed in with the fuel. Once that thing starts, there's absolutely no way to stop it. With a hybrid rocket engine, you can actually turn off the oxidizer, in this case the oxygen, and the fuel will simply stop burning, and then you can light it again later. So being able to throttle and start and stop the engine is a major benefit to these hybrid rocket engine designs. I didn't measure how much force this engine is producing. Again, if I were really concerned about building a decent engine, I would probably have spent more time on the nozzle, too. Uh, the typical shape to a rocket nozzle is a convergent, divergent nozzle. And so the idea is that you want to speed up the exhaust gas to a supersonic speed. That's what the convergent part is. And then you want to expand that flow to have a, a very high um, volume. So the divergent part of the nozzle keeps the speed up near supersonic or above, above the speed of sound and yet it uh, has a, a, a higher volume since it's cooled the gases down. So you can design an optimum nozzle for a specific engine design to get the most thrust out of it. So as you can see the acrylic has started to melt on the tail end of this. The um, engine produces a lot of heat obviously and the nozzle conducts the heat into that aluminum plate at the end. And since the plate is being pushed down by the uh, threaded rods, it started to melt the end of the acrylic. So again, this, this engine is only for quick demos. It obviously wouldn't last very long.
All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.